Hey everyone, today's review is a requested review. Ever since I mentioned these Black Radiance lipsticks in quite a few of my videos, I've been getting a lot of questions about them um, since a lot of you haven't heard of this brand before. And since these are one of my favorite lipsticks from the drugstore, I just thought I might as well do a review on them. So let's get right into the review. First off, I want to say that there are a lot of colors to choose from. I'm not sure exactly how many. I'll leave a link down below to their website because I'm sure they have all of their colors colors listed on there. And as far as availability goes, these are kind of hard to find. Um, I usually get mine at a Rite Aid that's near me, but not all Rite Aids have them. It's only like select ones. I've also seen them at Walgreens and Walmarts before as well, so you might be able to find them there. Um, and I know you can probably find them online too, so there's always that option, especially if you don't have this brand at all, like maybe it's not in your country or something, I'm pretty sure that you'll find them somewhere, maybe on eBay or like drugstore.com or something like that. As far as price goes, I usually pay anywhere from 2 to $3 for these, and I now have four of these in my collection. When I first got them, um, I only bought two, and then I ended up loving them so much that I, over time I went and I bought two more, but like I said, they are kind of hard to find, so it did take me a while to kind of get these four that I have. So here's Reggae Red on my lips, and as you can see, it's just like a really nice, vibrant red. It definitely gives a pop of color to the skin, and I do think it will look great on a lot of different skin tones because it is so pigmented, so it will show up on deeper skin tones, and that's why I really love these because I just think this color especially will look great on everybody and anyone, honestly. Um, this is one of my go-to reds, and I love that it's only like $3, sometimes even less. It's just so amazing. I love this color. It's definitely one of the best reds at the drugstore, in my opinion. I just, I love this stuff. So the next lipstick I have here is called Hibiscus. It's a really bright coral that kind of has some pinkish tones to it, so it's not too intimidating. It's not like an orangey coral or anything like that, and I think it's really, really pretty for, like I said, once again, all skin tones. Um, I love the brightness about it. It's kind of almost neon. It's so bright, and it's really pigmented. I just, I love this color too. Now, this one is called African Violet, and in person, it's actually a little bit of a deeper purple. Just as a reference, the lipstick usually looks like the how it does in the bullet right here, so just if you can maybe imagine that on my lips um, that's what it usually looks like these do kind of stain um, even if you wipe them off immediately after like I just did so that's probably why it's showing up kind of like pinky but um, it's still a really pretty color and I actually African Violet is like one of my favorite purple lipsticks from the drugstore of all time. It's so gorgeous and I mean for the price it's just you can't beat it. This is the last shade I have and it's called Pink Dahlia. I just recently bought this one and I really love it because in the tube it kind of looks like it'll be a deeper pink but when I put it on I was just like wow this is bright and it's more of like a kind of like a bubblegum pink it, but as you can see on the lips it's a lot brighter and it's just kind of like one of those really bright um, shocking pinks. And here's some quick hands swatches this is just one swipe each and as you can see they're really pigmented starting over here is reggae red hibiscus african violet and pink dahlia and these lipsticks usually last me a long time um, they are pretty creamy so i was impressed with the wear time i would say about five to six hours but if you do eat or drink it will come off immediately because they are very creamy so this is definitely a lipstick that you'll have to reapply during the day but i don't mind because they are very creamy and they do feel really good and hydrating on my lips so the whole reason I love these lipsticks is not only because they're really pigmented, as you guys saw, um, but because the formula feels so smooth and hydrating on my lips. The only other lipstick that I can think of that feels like these are the YSL Rouge Voluptuous Shine lipsticks. I just bought one of those not too long ago, and the formulas feel very similar, if not almost the same to me. Um, they both are very hydrating, they both glide on so effortlessly, and they're both really pigmented. So. If you've ever tried the YSL Rouge Voluptuous Shines or if you've been wanting to try those, give these a try because I think you'll really like them too. And um, just because they're cheap doesn't mean they're bad because um, I know a lot of people think that for some reason, but these are so amazing and I promise you if you'll try them that you will fall in love. They are so good. So about the packaging, I mean it's not the best, it is definitely cheap. The lipstick does not retract all the way in, which really bugs me, I hate that. Um, the lid is kind of hard to put on. I mean, you have to be careful you don't like scrape it and make a mess everywhere. The other thing that I don't like about these is that the tube actually grinds against the lipstick bullet when you retract it in. I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about, but 
right there, if you could see that like buildup, it's because when you twist it in like that, it's actually scraping the bullet because it's not centered properly. So if I had one complaint about these lipsticks, it would definitely be packaging. I wish that they would dress up the packaging. I would definitely pay more for nicer packaging because um, these are, the packaging is kind of a mess. But um, you could definitely just depot them. I choose not to because I would like to take them out with me when I wear them out. You really can't go wrong with these because they're just so inexpensive. They're crazy pigmented. The formula feels so good. It's very hydrating, very silky. Like I said, it reminds me a lot of YSL Rouge Philippe Shrine lipsticks. Um, that's like the best thing I can compare it to. You know, sometimes if you've never heard about something at the drugstore, you just kind of think it's bad for some reason, and you just, like, completely ignore it every time. So, um, yeah, I'm just telling you guys, you have to try these because they are so good. I'm not sponsored or anything by these. I just really love them. So if you've been curious about these or if you've never heard about them before, um, yeah, they're just really amazing, and I can't say enough good things about them. They are so, so phenomenal and um, definitely a hidden gem of the drugstore. So if you guys have any other questions about these lipsticks or comments or anything like that, just let me know down below and I so will read everything like I always do and I'll totally respond to your questions as soon as I can. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching.